Punkte nach diesem Fight. Aslan oder Captain Hook. Die Entscheidung fällt jetzt live im Gary Weber Stadion in Halle Westfalen. Gentlemen, I gave you instruction in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight. Obey my command and first and foremost, protect yourself at all times. This is a little high up here, okay? Let's touch it up. Let's go. Let's go. Eyes that say a great deal. Marco Hook against Pirat Arslan. I've been looking forward to this one. It's always fun when you see this guy in the ring, Barry. Marco Hook never seems to have a dull night. No, he's probably one of the most, if not the most exciting fighter in the world today. Never takes a backward step, but neither does Arslan. He never takes a backward step, so he's going to be a cracker. Arslan the Lion, that's his nickname. Bit of a Narnia reference. Huck, when he unloads, or hook, as they call him round about here, when he unloads, he really throws his punches with a purpose. And already John landing with a sickening left hook to the body. A lot of respect between the two guys. Arslan, 42 years old, but he comes into this after a draw for the European title against Alexander Alexeyev back in May. Formerly held the WBA title, lost it to Guillermo Jones, who still holds that version of the title, lost that in 2008. But he's got himself into terrific shape for this, and he only has one way of fighting. He just comes forward like this, gets into range, and tries to unload. Yeah, he's heavy-handed in the Arslan, and he keeps his hands up high, likes to wear you down and, uh, and beat you up. But he's up against... Uh, a fight who likes to do the same sort of thing. Respect between the two guys, though. Both of them say that they like their opponent. I think that uh, like and respect will be suspended for a few minutes now. It's good from Arslan. Decent left hook as well from the challenger. It was a very good kickboxer, Marco Hook, as a lad. Only had some 15 amateur fights before he turned pro. And you can see that sort of unorthodoxy about him. He has a slightly square on sort of look to him. But when he throws the punches, he really goes for it. Often in the last 30 seconds of a round, catching the eye of the judges. He generates a lot of power in those punches also, doesn't he? And he's uh, throws some funny angles sometimes, you know, they really have an effect when they land. Those fights, though, against Povetkin and against uh, Ofalabi. Just one little question, maybe, about how much it's taken out of the champion. You can't keep on having hard like fights like that indefinitely. And that's a good left hand from Arslan. But Arslan doing the right thing, isn't he? Trying to get close to Huck, being the shorter fighter. But Huck already landing some good body shots and unloading a nice little combination. You see that Huck has the height advantage, stands about two inches taller with a, a reach advantage similarly. It's a nice hook he throws to the body, really turns that left hand in well. Arslan coming back with a decent left hook of his own. It's been an interesting opening round. Both men have had their moments. Good round and both will go back to their corners thinking that they've had their moments of success. Yeah, it was a good round and a tight round for me. I give it to Huck, I think, you know, he had the flashier work, landed with some good body assaults, and, uh, but nothing in it, and uh, it's going to get more hectic as the rounds go on. Well, it's six months or so since he fought over Offalabi, the second time, incidentally. He's had six months out since then, and he says that his batteries have been well and truly recharged, and he's ready to go tonight. There was always a slight worry, wasn't there, that, you know, boxing for the heavyweight title of the world and coming down in weight again the box to defend his cruiserweight title, but in retrospect, looking back, he didn't really put on too much weight, did he, when he boxed them? Um, no, that's true. I mean, the most notable example, I suppose, of a man who went back and then that was never the, or went up, rather, and never was the same again, of course, Roy Jones.
Yeah, but he really bulked up, didn't he, Roy Jones, to get the heavyweight. I think that was the difference. I think Huck just got to a comfortable weight and uh, done it quite sensibly. Nine years ago, that wasn't it, when he fought John Ruiz. Time flies. Doesn't it just? The little right hook there to start off the wrong to the body for Arslan. Arslan's had a decent start to this fight. Has five defeats on his record. Interesting sort of guy, fluent in four languages of Turkish antecedents, as you might have guessed from the name. Awesome. Cute little uppercut inside. Yeah, he's had some good success, hasn't he, in this round so far? Well, after all the holding and spoiling of the last fight, what a relief to see two guys prepared to let their punches go. Again there, uh, Hook with a left hook to the body, gets right round the back of the ribs. Another uppercut inside from Arslan, and another decent shot. Very definitely giving Hook an argument here in this second round. Yeah, I think Hook's just then let, letting Arslan get a little bit too close to him, isn't he? Well, if Arslan can stay there, that's his territory, that's where he wants the fight. Well, Hook has quite fast hands, but an, an aggressive fight, he needs to hit him from range and let those fast combinations go nice and straight. Hook came to Germany as a child. His family fled what was Yugoslavia during the war, Serbia. Uh, the family lost many friends. Blood from the nose of Marco Hook, and we're only in the second round. Arslan keeping that tight, high held gloves defense and walking Hook down, getting into the pocket, so to speak, and trying to fire away in close like that. And again, a decent uppercut. Hook told to keep the punches up. He's so strong, isn't he, Arslan? That's another good shot from Arslan. He's so strong, he walks through whatever Hook got to give him at the moment, and uh, it's a great success with those uppercuts. A look at the face of Hook, that tells its story. This has been a good round for Arslan. Typically, in the last few seconds of the round, the grandstand finish from Hook. And then there's nice fast hands. Go, but still wasn't enough for me, John, to win in the round, and that uh, me levels the fight up after two rounds. Interesting, Barry, very interesting. And Huck. Well, he certainly knows he's in a fight now. And Uli Wagner will have some uh, well chosen words for him. Aslan was getting through with some really telling uppercuts. Yeah, he was. I think Huck needs to. Start throwing his punches before Marco, Arslan gets too close. He's then in, Arslan get walk on onto his chest, and obviously there's going to be one winner there. He's shorter guy punching up. I know people always talk up their preparations prior to a fight, but as you watch Arslan here, there's that uppercut, and you can see he's got himself into terrific shape. He might be 42 years old, but why does he look fit? He does, and he's in tremendous shape, and he's stronger than what I thought he would be against Huck. I obviously knew he was a very strong fighter, but Huck being strong himself, I didn't think he'd be able to bully him so early in the fight. Referee wanting everybody out of the ring and wanting the liquid off the ring canvas. And straight away, Arslan right into the face of Huck once more. Arslan claims to have sparred 160 rounds with 10 different sparring partners in preparation for this. I guess he would say that, wouldn't he? But you watch this and you can just see the desire oozing out of every pore. Well, this is his big chance in there, 42 years of age, you know, to get back on top. And he's made a very, very good start so far. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Huck targeting the body. But he doesn't seem to be making any sort of a dent in Firat Arslan so far. This is going to be a macho battle the further it goes, yeah, it's definitely, unquestionably. It's definitely going to be a war of attrition, isn't it? You can see uh, fitness playing a massive part.
and also desire, which both of them have plenty of. Yeah, Huck just getting a bit more distance to throw his shots. Crowd trying to raise Hook, who's not quite letting the punches go as we've seen in the past. Early stages in the fight, though, still a long way to go. And he has got through with some telling hooks to the body. Left hook from Hook has been a good one. Has that uppercut again from Arslan? This is where Hook needs to let his hands go. Just well, lost the opportunity there. Some really tight defence that Arslan, Arslan keeps. Oh, good work inside again. Got, got him on the back of the guard there, didn't he? Hook. But look and at the size of Arslan's back, it's massive, isn't it? Yeah. See where all the power comes from. The blood coming again from the nose of Marco Hook. Arslan by 15 years, the older man. That's better from Hook, he needs more of that. Are we going to get another of these epic cruiserweight confrontations here? The early portents are good. That's good work from Hook. Needs to do it again from that from that distance. We all know he takes a good shot, but he don't want to give. Oh, that's good work. That's the trademark flurry in the closing seconds of the round. Huck has learnt that over the years. It pleases the crowd, it catches the eye of the judges. Arslan gives him a little smile. That was one good round. It was, and for me, I favoured Arslan right up until that last little combination, and it was a flashy combination, and it maybe was stole the wrong for me for Huck, but it's going to be a very difficult fight to score if it stays like this. Very, very tight round indeed. Firat Arslan, Turkish parents now based in Germany, lives in Friedberg. I've been a professional since back in 1997. Briefly, he's under the Panos Eliadis banner, working with Panic's promotions. Whatever happened to Panos? Last one, the past one, that. Qualified mechanic as well, is Firat. Arthur Abraham watching at ringside. We've got a fight on our hands here, Barry. Well, Arslan straight out like a bull over the gate, straight on top of Hook again with that uppercut. And that's his tactic, isn't it? Not giving chance, Hook chance to work. Not giving the space to let those fast hands go. He works very effectively in close, doesn't he, Arslan? Some people seem to find it difficult to get their punches off at close quarters. He works really well with those short hooks and uppercuts. Well, he's so strong, isn't he? He, he punches through defences. Doesn't worry about the high guard. You know, he has, he has the strength and the power to get through them. But that's good work there from Hook. Left up to the body, straight right to the head. Oh, good shot from Arslan. Rocked back the champion's head. And again, good uppercut. Huck once more forced to give ground as the bull-like Arslan ploughs forward. I wonder how many people who saw him have his second pro fight at the Elephant and Castle fight and beat Mark Hobson up in Barnsley, thought that one thing that one day he'd be fighting for the WBO title against the world-ranked number one Marco Hook here in Germany. And on my card, possibly could be winning the fight maybe if he gets the Keeps his run going the way he is at the moment. Huck landing a couple of good body shots, followed by the front right hand from range, and then back comes Arslan. It's that sort of fight, swinging this way and then the other. That's what Huck needs to throw, doesn't he? he needs to throw when he gets a jab's distance away. Let those fast hands go.
It's only one boss, isn't it, when he's in close, and that's uh, Arslan. Well, you know what's coming, don't you? In the last 20 seconds, we're going to see Huck cut loose again, and the question's going to be whether Arslan can stay with him, whether he can match him, because Huck, you sense when he does that, and it's a pattern which he's established over the years, he catches the judge's eyes as he does it. Well, it worked for me in the last round. I think he was losing the round up until that final flurry. Well, you could argue that he's been losing the round so far in this fourth round, but the Huck big effort is going to be coming now. And that's what Arslan needs to say close so Huck can't get it, let his punches go. Can't steal the round. Here we go. <laughs> now watch. Arslan this time right in his face. Huck looking for it, but on this occasion wasn't able to find it. Nope. Tight round again. Yeah, wrong for Arslan that time for me. I think he uh, done the more effective work. Nullified all of Huck's work. Well, I've got a tight one so far. I checked on one of the uh, betting sites in my idle moments prior to uh, this. I was just trying to uh, cram a few facts into my head and I saw there that Marco Huck was being quoted at 16 to 1 on. He doesn't look like a 16 to 1 on shot here, does he? No, he doesn't, no. I, he was obviously going to be the favourite. I thought he'd have a easier night than he already had, to be honest. I thought he would have been uh, giving himself more room to throw those combinations, but I underestimated and maybe Huck underestimated the strength of Aslan. Well, he's going to have to raise his game or it's going to be a very awkward night indeed. We go now into the fifth. And on Barry Jones's card, we've got it level here. First scoring shot of the round was that uppercut from Arslan. Then back comes Hook. But a lot of those shots, although they're catching the eye of the crowd, particularly from a long way back, they're being taken on gloves by Arslan. There's the uppercut again. The thing with Hook, he, he, has, he has a nice tight defence, Hook, but Arslan's just punching through it, isn't he? It's the sheer strength of the guy. Left hook to hook is a quality punch. Now Huck trying to show that he can match him for strength, trying to bully Arslan back and getting through with a couple of telling shots to the body. Well, he places that left hook round the ribs beautifully, doesn't he, Huck? But as strong as Arslan is, he just doesn't seem to affect him. That's a real tough man's fight, this strong man's fight and Huck to an extent you sense is allowing Arslan to make it his fight he's not picking him off at range as one might have expected I think he's just struggling with the strength at the moment isn't he this early in the fight question mark of course about whether Arslan's going to be able to sustain his efforts as the older man you just wonder 42 years old that one stat doesn't lie yeah, he's doing well so far, isn't he? He's, uh, still a very close round again, but Arslan having the better of it so far again with a nice little left hand. Well, he's landing more punches, and the support in the auditorium is not all Huck's way, I might say. Big Turkish community in Germany, and Arslan has got plenty who are cheering him on as he uses that bull-like strength once again to get Huck back onto the ropes and landing a big left hook. That's better from Huck. Facial damage again, very evident on the champion. He's just so hard to keep away, isn't he? Arslan. And then just either the uppercuts through the guard or clubbing punches around the guard. He seems to always find the target. Vladimir Klitschko fight's going to remain a pipe dream unless he can produce something more spectacular than this. Perhaps it's still to come. Referee's not had to separate them too much so far. It's uh, despite the fact they've been fighting at close quarters. It's been fought in a clean sort of spirit. Arslan trying to match Huck in the closing stages of the round. 
He's been suckered out of it once in the in the uh, in the third, wasn't it, where he came on strong hook, but it's thereafter he's not allowed it to happen again. How did he score that? Well, that was another round for me for Arslan. I think again another very close round, but I just think he put too much pressure on Hook and smothered his work. Didn't give him a chance to get those combinations off. Can't miss with that uppercut, can he? Three-two. You've got it to Firat Arslan, the outsider, the challenger, the veteran. But you, you couldn't argue if it was the other way, could you? At the moment, it's a uh, very nip and tuck. No, it's that sort of a fight, isn't it? It's going to be a. I, I suspect this is going to be a difficult one to score. And it's got all the makings of one which is going to unfold into something special. Well, as the rounds go on and they get a little bit tired, the defences will get a little bit more leaky. So, uh. Celestino Ruiz, the American referee, ordering the cornerman out. And straight away, Arslan right into the face of Hook. Heads coming close. Referee warning the two fighters. Look, we know Arslan is strong, we know he likes to fight this way, but he'll do well to be able to keep this up for 12 rounds. Well, it'll be the performance of his life if he does it. That's a terrific shot. Really good left hook from Arslan. Well, that's the distance where Hook needs to be. Good shot, good little movement there, slipping the, slip the punch, coming back with a little right hand. Marco Hook has not really found the answers yet, particularly to that uppercut. Lovely left hook, though, he fired in under the right elbow. I can understand Hook wanted to conserve a little bit of energy, but he needs to let more shots go, I think, like that. And threes and fours, I think, to keep Arslan at bay. It's good work. And they threw the shots, but... Oh, that's a good uppercut once more from Arslan. How many times has he got through with that shot? Oh. It's not balance, I think, there. Big right hand from Arslan. Just a little bit worrying for Huck supporters, the number of shots he's taking. Just the strength of Arslan, he's just punching through his defence, isn't he? He's so physically strong. Left hook's been the best punch for the captain, but there's not been enough of them. And he's making Huck's punches look very, very light and weak, but as we know, Huck can punch himself. It's better work. Well, Huck certainly can punch, we know that. 30 stoppage wins tell their own story. But Firat Arslan wants to just tear up the script. Almost for the first time, Arslan just gave a little bit of ground with that right hook from the captain, which fired home. There's another one, that one was low, and again, both of them low. Referee doesn't call him up, though. Did suggest beforehand that Arslan's protective gear was a little bit high. But again, another low one. But Arslan won't be deterred. Arslan is not allowing Huck to make these grandstand finishes to the round. He's getting right into Huck's face in the closing seconds of each three-minute period. And those are the Arslan fans who are cheering their man. Well, they have a lot to cheer about, don't they, at the moment? Again, another round for me for Arslan. Another very close round, but I think he's landed all the cleaner shots. Huck had a few flashy combinations. No, boy, he's been straight off the man. They're liking what he's producing. Your card, Barry, you've got him a couple of points ahead at the halfway stage. Yeah, I just think he's won the last my three rounds. They've all been close, and maybe the, the fourth and the fifth were slightly subjective, but I think he won that round as clear as he could have. He absolutely has the look tonight, doesn't he? Man who is ready, who's out there to produce the performance of his life. He does, and he, and he has so far. You would tend to think he won't be able to keep this up for too long, and that's when... Huck will come into his own, but at the moment it's a half night's work for 
Michael Hook. Well, we've seen Hook rally in adversity before, and he's going to have to once more. Needs to find two or three big shots, he says. He's a demonstrative referee, Mr. Ruiz. I was about to say, you just sense that Huck needs some big punches here just to turn the tide, just to make things go his way a little bit. Good body shot. Yeah, that Huck hasn't done too much wrong, has he? You know, he's landing with the good shot. Just Arsene just plowing through him and punching round the guard or, up, or through the guard with the uppercut. He's uh, stronger than I gave him credit for. Shoulder from Huck coming in there, the referee splits him. I wish I'd done a count of the number of times that Firat Arslan has landed with an uppercut from both hands. It's been tremendous with him running so far tonight. Huck's thrown some decent body shots in this round. There's another. It's better work from Huck. Just giving himself throwing the punches before Aslan can get too close. Being forced to work the body hook because of that high guard of Arslan. Punches up the head, just bounce off the gloves, off the arms. Gets through with a couple there. That's better from Hunt, needs more of that. Arslan has almost physically says, OK, you've had your moment, now let's see what I can deliver. It's a better round, though, for Hook. Yeah. Needed one. Yeah, he did, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he's still under a lot of pressure. Still getting him to take those uppercuts, but he's landed more shots. And his output's been greater than it has in the previous round. I just think he needs to keep throwing those straight one twos down the pipe. Keeping a bit busier here, Huck, as well. Taking the eye simply because he's throwing more shots, irrespective of whether or not they're getting through. But once Arsenal gets him on the ropes or anywhere near the corner, those, those clubbing hooks and uppercuts have come into play and he's having success with them again. This has been a bigger effort, though, from Huck in this round. Yeah, he's rallying well, isn't he, under pressure. The body shots have been telling, but Arslan just keeps on coming. Like his armour plated. But this is better from Huck. Yeah, good straight punching down the line there, isn't it, by Huck? And almost for the first time in the closing stage of that round, you just got the feeling that the body attack of Huck was starting to take its toll. Almost for the first time, Arslan almost involuntarily allowing his arms to just drop. Yeah, Hook targeted the body did he, with the left hook from the offset of round one. And as you said, John, it might start to take effect on Arslan, he doesn't show it in his face. He's a strong fella, but it slowed him down slightly. And those straight punches on the pipe in threes and fours by Hook are also having a an effect and that was one of one in the round. It's taken time for them to tell, hasn't it? Hooks kept on working the body as Arslan walked forward with that high, high guard. But just signs at last that they're starting to take a toll. Yes, yes, definitely. And even though Arslan is still plowing forward because he is a strong, a monster of a guy, but he was just slightly slower, wasn't he? A little bit more trepid than he was in the round previous you give that last round to hook i did yes definitely so that now four to three on barry's card in favor of the challenger firat arslan as we move into round eight but they are also very close aren't they these rounds is yeah absolutely absolutely i wouldn't argue with those who put forward vastly different score lines because a lot of the rounds have been very close The hooks found a, a recipe for for some success now, and that's oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm talking about hook, lovely up could say from Arslan. But the recipe for success for hook is the hooks and the body assault and the straight punches down the pipe through the guard of Arslan. Headshots again from Arslan, uppercut followed by the hook. Hook 
is really being dragged into the trenches here. Good body shot from Arslan. Lovely hook. It's this the it's almost like a chuckle by the fight, isn't it? From you to me, you to me, it's just back and throw all the time. Well, I'm not quite sure what the dimensions of this particular ring are, but you could have put this in a in an eight-foot ring, never mind a twenty-four-foot ring. Oh literally, yeah, they don't need not don't need the space to run away, do they? Body shot again from Huck. Thuds home. And now Arslan, payback time. Whereas earlier in the first half of the fight, you just felt that the last word was kind of coming from the challenger. I wonder whether that has just changed now so that the last word is coming from Huck. Yeah, possibly. You know, I think the heavier shots are obviously from from Arslan, but I think, you know, like you said earlier on, the flashier punches and the combinations are from Hook. So it's, it's what you favour at the moment, isn't it? Two good quality body shots from Hook, looking to bring those gloves down to create the opening. Tough fights, Arslan still right in the face of Hook. That's a straight right to the body there from Hook. Well, are we going to have another conclusion to this fight like Hook against Afalabi? We said in the commentary to that one, it was it is simmering up towards a real boiling finish. And that for me was a round for Hook and probably his best round to date, maybe. I think he had a, a good, he was putting a lot of pressure again and Arsenal had some success, but Hook landed more frequent and landed with some nice little straight right hands on the pipe. Which means that you've now got it dead level again. Eight rounds gone. I'm kind of glad that it's not uh, the WBC scoring of it uh, to get in some areas where they, they give the scores, don't they, at the end of the eighth round. I kind of think it spoils it a little bit. That I like the I like the guessing game. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you don't want to, you know, and also people don't need to know what the score is. They can only start. Um, Rooting for a different guy, maybe, or you know, standing on the foot there, maybe. Look at that. Both trying to get the, the advantage having their foot outside, aren't they? So we go now into the ninth round. Marco Hook, should you need the benefit of uh, identification, which I'm sure that not many do by this stage, but he's in the white shorts, left hand side of your picture. The WBO Cruiserweight type champion defending his title here tonight for the tenth time. What a fight though Arslan has given him so far. It's yeah, still being effective, isn't he, Arslan, when he's in close. Again, just ripping through the defensive hook. The hook throwing more punches now, isn't he, from distance before Arslan comes in. Well, Arslan not quite maintaining the work rate that he did in the early rounds. And you can't blame him, can you, John? Good he body shots. Worked so hard, Arslan. Three solid right hands from Hook. Referee saying keep them up, but to my way of looking at it, they were legitimate punches. No letter was there for either fight that wants any of the either fight that takes a rest, the other one capitalizes on it. Yeah, Huck, just as you just as you sense that one man starting to get the ascent into the ascendant, and back comes the other. Look at this from Arslan. Big effort. Midway stage of this ninth round. And to be fair to Arslan, he's blocking a lot of these shots, isn't he? Body shots from Hook have been effective. The uppercuts, particularly from Arslan, have been terrific.
Marco Hook has been the 12 round distance on eight occasions. Ferrat Arslan has done it seven times, and it's got the look of a fight which is going to go all the way down to the wire. Well, just when you felt that Hook was under a little bit of pressure, he comes back with a five punch combination, nice straight punches down the middle, backing up Arslan, and again with a cracking little right hand. Yep. And those body shots you saw again as he aimed to throw that one, Arslan dipped. He's feeling them. Hardly surprising, you would say. That's good from Hook. The snap now looks as though it is more with the champion. A yeah, good shot, left of the body, right hand over the top, a combination he's used a few times already tonight. Well, Hook backing off and taking a little bit of a breather. Arslan waving to his supporters. But I reckon that Hook did enough to take that round, Barry. Yeah, I gave it to Hook, I think. Pretty much halfway, three quarters away for the round. It was a close round. Hook come back with some nice flashy combinations. Three or four different occasions, and that was enough for him to steal a round, in my opinion. You've got it by a point, Barry to the champion, Marco Hook. But it could be either way, especially those first four or five rounds were anyone's round, weren't they? I just feel the last two rounds, Hook has had a little bit of more success. But it's the fight we expected, John, isn't it? Sorry. Only 1,600 quid on to win a ton on Marco Hook. You'd be feeling a little bit nervous, I think. Yeah, when you just... Yeah, just showing some of Hook's uh, better work. The combinations thrown in sixes and sevens sometimes. And that combination, the left hook to the body, the right hand over the top, is probably his best combination. He's been throwing it quite regular tonight. Three rounds to go. And Hook, for us, just shading it. Arslan has been slowly softened up by this body attack from the champion and that tight defense of Arslan's just seems to be getting easier to get through doesn't it than it did earlier in the fight Body attack again, big left hook from Hook. This is a gruelling fight. Oh, I really you is. see it on the face of both men. They're having to dig so, so deep. Look at the head of Hook, rocked back twice to those left uppercuts. He's had great success, hasn't he, Arslan, with that, especially with that left uppercut. Again, landing with it. Well, once one fighter has a, bit, a little bit of success, the other one comes straight back, doesn't he? Good round again. Terrific hooks to the body from Hook. Neither man, despite the power, the potency of the attacks, neither man has really been rocked badly so far, despite the fact that they've been able to tee off clean. Yeah, you would tend to think if it was an other fighter taking a punch from either one of these, they would be under, under pressure and in trouble, but so strong and fit they both are. Yeah, it's a great uh, tribute to the fitness, to the preparations of both men. Marco Hook never seems to have an easy night, does he? No, but his body punching tonight has been superb, hasn't it? Well, if he gets the edge, if he gets the judge's nod, it's shots like that which will have won it for him as much as any. Well, I think for me in the last few rounds, the difference has been Ars has been throwing punches in ones and twos, and Hook's been throwing his in threes and fours and fives, and that's been the only difference. Tight round, though, this ten. Two good body shots from Hook, last 10 seconds of the round, Hook trying to make the big attack. Hard to split them, and they know it, look at that smile from Hook as much as to say, 
you are one hard mother. Yeah, and he'd be right. But that was a round for hook for me. And a different, I think, Arsene has, has a steady round, doesn't he? Trudges forward, throws in twos and threes at most. Has success throughout the round. Makes, you know, in most fights, he's probably winning the round. But hook throws in fives and sixes, sometimes seven punch combinations. And at the moment, that's what's edging the fight in his favour on my card. Yep, on your card, it's now hooked by a couple of points, Murray. But you really, as subjective as this fight is, you couldn't argue whoever was winning, I think. It could be a wider margin. It might be that it's tighter. It might be that Arslan's winning, you never know, but I don't think so. Just sense that Huck has had the better of this in the second half of the fight. Well, Arslan's working steady, isn't he? He's, he's throwing punches throughout the round. And Huck's looking to pick his combinations when he can. He's having more success now in getting through the guard. Slightly easier than he was at the beginning of the fight, I think. But Arslan's been superb tonight, hasn't he? Really has. Absolutely. Whatever he's earned in there, I know that fighters earn well over in Germany. Whatever he's earned in there, he has certainly deserved it. Eye-catching flurry again from Hook. Arslan not letting the punches go with quite the enthusiasm that he did earlier on. And he's more wary of those body attacks. Yeah, he is. He, he's blocking a few with his, with his elbows, to be fair to him, but enough of getting through to take an effect, I think. Strong, strong man, Marco Hook. And what a fighting heart he has. Again, Aslan trudging forward, looking for that uppercut. Well, I thought there was a very good argument that Hook against Offalabi was the best fight I've seen anywhere in 2012. This has been another cracker. Maybe hasn't quite touched the heights that the Offalabi fight did, but it has been one you can't take your eyes off. Yeah, it's been a tough fight, honest fight as well, hasn't it? No one holding, always looking to work. Did I say 2011? I meant 2012. You might have done. We're in round 11 anyway, that's the point. It is an epic contest. But look at this now. Hook having a better start to the round now. Arslan coming back. Neither fighter being allowed to rest by the other one. Arslan has just kept on coming the whole time. So fired up. People talk about the physical conditioning of somebody like Bernard Hopkins when he got past the age of 40. Firat Arslan has shown that he is in remarkable physical shape. Well, Hopkins, as good as he, he was and is, and I'm a lover of his, I think he's a great skill. He didn't fight like this, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> he certainly didn't. Oh, look at this from Hook. And back comes Arslan. Great stuff, isn't it? Great. What an epic round. Tremendous round. Again, a hook round for me, yet again. You almost feel guilty, don't you, Kit? Not to give him Arsenal a share of a round, because he's doing such good work and his effort has been immense. But for me, Hook's doing all the, the, the better work, I think. Well, they've got to believe that he's just not been letting the punches flow as he did in the first six. And there is an argument, I think you could certainly make an argument, as you have, Barry, that everything in the second, in the second half of the fight has gone the way of the champion. Well, that, if, you know, if you're watching the fight, you would, you would think it was maybe a wrong, did it? But when you look at your scorecard, you just have to give the edge to Dunyu the hook for the last maybe five rounds, and which gives him a, well, a two, three point advantage. The crowd has absolutely loved it. A wonderful setting, 
a tremendous fight and into the last round. And you would have never guessed it, would you? Arslan forward straight away, straight on Hook's chest. A lot of this, as you say, Barry, it's worth emphasising. A lot of it, the scoring, it's very subjective. A lot of the rounds have been tight. But Marco Hook has really, for me, produced a champion's resolve in these closing stages. He has, yeah. Just when he looks under pressure, he rallies back, doesn't he, with, a, with nice straight punches or them good body assaults that he's been doing, those hooks round the, round the elbows of... And here we go again. Perfect example of his desire to win. Oslan keeps ploughing forward. There's the strength of Hook, though. You almost don't want the last bell to go. You'd like this to continue for another few rounds. The I'm not sure the fighters would. <laughs> no, not at all. Look at him. Just going at it now, isn't he? And Hook, the younger fighter. Just seems to have a little bit more energy, doesn't he? Well, I gather there have been other attractions around the world this evening, but if you've been watching this one, I think you've made the right decision. These guys have short-changed nobody. It has been a superb struggle between the two of them, and it is going just the way it has been throughout the fight, right up to the final bell. Arslan bravely trying to carry the fight to Hook, and look at the pressure that he's putting the champion under. And then back comes Hook. Just absolutely brilliant. Just when you think one fight is starting to struggle for pace, they come back with, with a rally of punches to keep them back in the round. I know most of the people we're broadcasting to are aficionados of the sport, but just maybe, just maybe, there are people getting a look at Marco Hook for the first time, irrespective of whether he wins this fight, and I think he has. But irrespective of that, you can see just why he is such a crowd pleaser. And Arslan has just been also just been absolutely superb tonight, hasn't he? Well, he's produced the performance of his career for me. He's been a pro for a long time, since back in 1997, but he has never surely fought better than this. Coming now into the last 15 seconds. They'll remember this for a long time. Those who've watched it, and certainly the two who produced this epic confrontation. There is the final bell. Arslan celebrates, he thinks he's won it. Marco Hook as well. Arslan's corner think that they've got it. We reckon that Hook has edged it. It's been that sort of a fight. 115 zu 113. Paul Thomas aus Derby wertet den Kampf 115 zu 113. Und Justino Di Giovanni aus Pescara wertet den Kampf 117 zu 111. Alle drei für den einstimmigen Sieger nach Punkten und weiterhin Cruiserweight Champion der WBO. Er bleibt Weltmeister. Marco, Captain Hu. Well, the crowd not particularly.